and then me. Hello everyone. Today is the day for this. Uh, in my previous video, the one on the six-wheeler trailer, I still don't have the pinion. Okay, I presented you this car. And today is the day we work and have a test. And uh, what can I say? Comment, like and subscribe. Let's go to the workshop and find out. I love this car. There's a little bit of work. I want just to show you here and there. But you will see better on the table. Let's go there. And here we are on the bench. This car is very nice. The body is perfect, new, and under, fantastic. Tires, sponge, already trimmed here, ready to run. And uh, plastic diff. We have a surprise, but we will see better without the body. And uh, now three clips, big clips. And the body. Ready to see the magic. Et voilà. At the first sight, this is really super. A brand new red cap engine with aluminum stay here, pinion, aluminum motor holder, Allen screws, this is important. These are for the battery and these for something else. Here goes the servo with uh, this original fantastic speed controller. This is the switch stay, fantastic. Metal servo columns. Wow, my friends, this is a super model. Double frame, one and two. With these two screws, we can adjust uh, the distance of the steering servo columns. The bumper is very, very thin. Wheels, not so nice. And look at the, here, there's a compression strut you can adjust with this. And this is the servo saver. Have you ever seen a servo saver like this? And the uniball, wow. technically fantastic. And here they are. This is the Porsche and this is the Tornado. Uh, I don't know if this is a replica of a real car or if it's a fantasy car. The fact is that it's very nice. I have to learn about this car. 112 both, but a uh, lot of differences. Another planet. Here we have a sort of a suspension with this friction. Here nothing more rigid. The motor holder is in aluminum and uh, the front totally different. The car is a little bit wider and uh, long, quite the same. It's very square, this car. Uh, the frame absolutely different. It seems that this is a newest model than this one. And looking also to the metal parts, this is from the past. I have a another thing here to hold the car. <laughs> now we start the work. <laughs> 
And this is all what I need to do the work. A steering servo, 15 kilos, more than enough. Very, 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 very cheap. This is for the connection between uh, this and this. Screws to mount uh, on the servo holder. Very soft uh, and uh, easy battery, not lipo. Nickel metal hydride, more than enough. Receiver for the transmitter. Speed controller, Hobbywing 1060. One of the best uh, to do this kind of things, just for races or super power car, perhaps not. But this is great modulation, perfect in every condition. This piece of sponge, I used to put the receiver inside and then place on the car. Instructions. And uh, yes. here there are two pieces, metal pieces. What do they are for? We will discover with these instructions. Perfect. Let's start the work. Music and some images. The steering is done. Now we have a problem because I don't want to use this because to use this I need another servo. I have to eliminate this. I have to work on this. I have to. This is the plug wonderful with these colors. And uh, so as I don't want to use this, I have this, but I need this so I can cut the wire here so I preserve this work and later if I want to use it I can join and uh, the, the two wires hmm. or find new wires with a plug I don't have spare plug Tamiya sells them this I don't need anymore, and these two. But perhaps this could be useful for the receiver. And the speed controller here. Battery. Now there's a big mess, but the idea is this one wires by this way and by this way like this okay i found these two wires same color and these two connectors now i have to open them it's not so easy open these solder or reclose then mount on the engine
the first part is done. Now we have to close it. And to close I have this very old Tamiya tool that works mm, so and so. Uh, first of all this one is too large so with the pliers I can close a little bit like this a little bit more okay then put the wire inside sorry for the camera then put this here and and with this closed and then the big one then the other one then we can mount on the engine The car is almost finished. The wiring is okay. The wires or the servo with the thermo and uh, the engine, okay. Not a great mess, but on this car I have to glue tires because they are very, they move a lot. This to lift the tire and uh, the glue. I have finished to glue all the tires. The car is ready to run. For today the car works perfectly the engine is very powerful and uh, now I prepare myself uh, for a trial on the track up to the next thank you very much for watching comment like and subscribe and ciao